welcome to the second part guys now in second part uh, we are going to insert either correct or incorrect value in the compare table so here we are going to execute this query first pst dot pst is equal to con dot prepare statement here goes extract query and then rs is equal to pst dot execute query and if there is something executed by this query that is next if there is something executed by this query then we are going to uh, insert correct value in the compatible so for this string value query is equal to insert into compare value compare table column name is value and then what we are going to send value what or you can simply go over here select this compare table and then click on sql and then click insert and simply copy this insert into compare value values and then here goes this one now pst is equal to con dot prepare statement we are going to prepare the statement and pass this value query and then pst dot dot set string property one because head is only one and here goes the value you are correct value and then pst dot execute update now if there is nothing extracted by this query we are going to else we are going to store incorrect value string value query is equal to simply copy this and then paste over here and simply remove this goods what pst pst is equal to con dot prepare statement here goes value query and then pst dot set string one and here goes incorrect incorrect and then pst dot execute update so let me run this Select any answer you like and then click submit answer. Ops. Now we need to connect this Java application with the MySQL database. So for this, you need to download the MySQL connector for Java. So for this, go to mysql.com and then go to download and then go to community and then go to mysql connector and then click 
connector slash j and then select your operating system platform independent and then download this jar file after downloading this jar file extract this uh, zip file and then go to netbin id expand this libraries click on right click over here and then click add jar slash folder over here mysql connector and then click uh, select this mysql connector java and then click open now again run this application select any answer you like and then click submit answer Universal answer is submitted successfully and then let's check whether uh, the answer is submitted and either um, the correct value or incorrect value is submitted in compatible or not so select this submit answer table there we go there is uh, one answer is submitted that is added for it and then check the compatible the correct value should be inserted there you go correct value is inserted now again run this application and then select uh, this answer and then click submit answer you initially submitted successfully now again go back to your database and then check the submit answer table there you go this answer is submitted uh, there you can see and then go to compatible incorrect value should be inserted there you go incorrect value is inserted so we complete the part of submitting the answer to the database now well, we are going to write the code for checking the answer so double click that check button and here we are going to write the code try and here uh, uh, we need to connect our this application to the database so for this i'm going to copy this code Control c and here Control v now again i'm going to write on query that is so query is equal to select value from compare table order by id in descending order uh, limit one it means select the value column from the compare table and then this value column should be ordered in should be ordered by id in descending order means the last submitted value is will be placed in the top of the table and the limit ones means select only the top one then here goes this one now i'm going to catch the exception exception ex j option pan dot dot so message dialog this and ex dot what ex dot get message now here i'm uh, going to execute this query pst is equal to con dot prepare statement so query and then rs is equal to pst dot execute update now if there is something value extracted by this query rs dot next then we are going to display the message to the user first of all let me declare on variable that is to the value of the value column so string so is equal to rs dot get string here goes the 
टेबल कुलम नेम बैलो दिस वन इज द टेबल कुलम नेम दिस वन इज द टेबल कुलम नेम नाउ वी नीड टू डिस्प्ले द मैसेज टू द यूजर आइदर देर सबमिट एंड सेट इज करेक्ट और इन करेक्ट सो जे ऑप्शन फैन डॉट सो मैसेज डायलॉग your submitter answer is so information we are going to inform the user so information and j j option pen dot plain text plain message dot execute query now let me run this again select any answer you would like click submit your answer is submitted successfully now check the uh, upcoming message box should display your message uh, your submitted answer is incorrect there you go your submitted answer is incorrect now if i select this one and click submit click okay and then click, click check the message box should display your answer is correct there you go your answer is correct so that's it in this video tutorial guys if you like this video share this video with your friends so that they can know about this tutorial and give thumbs up which really motivates us to make such programming tutorials and stay connected with this channel in order to stay connected with this channel you need to subscribe this channel so subscribe this channel and thank you once again for watching this video tutorial have a good day bye bye